Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of my first ever art supply haul video. If you haven't seen my last video, which is part 1, but you'd really like to watch it, I'll have it linked in the description down below as well as in the end of this video. If you have seen part 1, you know that I decided to split up this video into 3 parts. This is, like I said, part 2. And in this video I'm going to be unboxing, talking about, swatching and reviewing the Amsterdam Relief paints. I'm not sure if it's pronounced as Relief or Relief, but I hope you know what I mean. I'm not quite sure if it's a new product, but I couldn't find any videos about it, so I thought making one could be useful to others. If you like my video and you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free and it would mean a lot to me. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Enjoy! Here's a product I'm really excited about. It's the Amsterdam Relief paint. Since English isn't my first language, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I hope I'm saying it right. I actually bought two. I bought one in silver and in gold. This is basically going to be a mini unboxing. I've never had these, so I'm really excited to try them out. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to start with silver. There we go, and the tube. Okay, so it says on the back, Really F paint, 20 milliliters, use the needle-like dosing nozzle to create fine 3D lines. So basically, um, you got this in, I want to say 15, but I'm not sure, but like around 15 different colors. Uh, this is 800 uh, relief paint in silver, and like I said, I have the gold too. And this is basically to make 3D lines. You can use it for all kinds of things, obviously, but I'm just really excited to try out the paint, if it like really looks silvery, and uh, how the 3D lines look. So I'm going to try it out. I have no idea how this works, but I'm just going to try my best. Is this like that? Ah, okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to twist this one off. Oh <gasps> no! <gasps> I'm going to put it on. I did not think that was going to happen. It looks really silvery. Oh my god, it looks gorgeous. Alright, now let's try this out. It's so gorgeous. The color is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's really tiny though. I thought it would be like thicker, but I don't mind it at all. It's only 20 milliliters, so I was afraid that I would be going through it very fast, but that doesn't seem to happen. Ah, uh, this sucks though. That's so much paint. But I'm really excited for this. I'm going to do one like I'm going to try. To make one straight line, I also do the same with the gold, obviously. Um, let it dry and then come back to it later. There we go. Uh, it takes some practice to make straight lines though, but it's okay. So yeah, you can use it for all kinds of things. Um, patterns, lines, whatever. It looks gorgeous for now, but let's just wait it out and see what will happen. If it dries up. One thing that I do want to mention, by the way, is that I also saw that they have this in, like, clear. So that one you could use not to make, uh, obviously for color, but to make some sort of thickness differences in your painting and then paint over it for a, a nice effect. I think that could be really nice, however, they're pretty expensive. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. I just wish I knew how to stop it from running, because that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, I'm going to try and take the cap off. That is so much paint. That's really a shame. So. There we go. Still very much left, thankfully. 
that's another thing. I don't know how to clean the nozzle out, so I'll have to look that up. There wasn't much to find on this, to be honest. So I'm curious if this is like a new product that there's so little about this. So uh, let's move on to the gold one. I also have no idea like if you're supposed to put the lid back on after you're done or just leave the black one on. I'm very confused about that. I wish it was like there was a place that would state that a bit better. I'm going to open this one and I'm scared, but let's do this. This one is okay. It's not too bad. That one's on. Take off. <laughs> lid all right not too bad let's try it out yeah i'm really happy with these the only thing that i have is like i wish i knew how to stop them oh this one seems to stop Maybe there was just too much pressure on that other tube or something, but this seems to work fine. Uh, anyway, it looks absolutely amazing. The colors are exactly like you see, at least I saw online. Um, and they're also pretty much the same as the package. So I'm happy with that because sometimes with paint you think you buy a color and you try it out and it just looks completely different. Let me put the lid back on. One second. So yeah, I think these two are beautiful. I will come back later or insert a clip of how it looks when dry. For now, they work fine. They look amazing. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. Here is some up-close footage from the paint when wet. And here is some up-close footage from the paint when dry. The paint did sink in a little bit compared to when it was still wet, but it is still very clearly relief and the colors still look as beautiful as they did when wet. So I definitely recommend it. So yeah, that was part 2 of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Quick reminder to subscribe to my channel if you did. And now, let's move on to part 3 of the video which is about Amsterdam Standard Series Acrylic Paints. Have a nice rest of your day or evening, and see you in part 3. Bye!